Hey you all and welcome to another video. As you can see I'm outside with my chickens. I just fed them. It's a gorgeous day today and today it's finally a day when I can come outside and do some gardening. I can plant my cold weather crops and vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm really ecstatic. I want to start to plant some lettuces and some cabbages and uh, broccoli and arugula and stuff like that so that's what i'm going to be doing today and then i will be well first of all before i plant <laughs> i will be making some raised beds last year i told you guys that i was going to expand the growing space in front of the greenhouse so this is exactly what i'm going to do this year as you guys know food price is ridiculous so i'm gonna grow some more food this year so i already uh, did some work yesterday afternoon but it was so cold and windy and filming anything was just gonna be just a bunch of noise so that was just useless but yesterday i came out and i started moving some pots from there so uh, i'm gonna show you guys what i did let me show you what i did here moving the pots and everything so I moved all these pots from there so this is what I did I moved all the pots that was here in front of the greenhouse because I'm gonna be putting two raised beds there and then I moved them over here and I will set up pots on this side then on this side I'm gonna add two raised beds I may put raised beds over here also depending on how much wood I have left so I have this wood here that I'm using for my raised beds and um, I want to see how they hold up once I set it up because I usually use different wood like bigger pieces but because wood prices is so high forget it I'm using these ones so wood prices is so ridiculous I can't afford to buy the bigger pieces of pine wood because one length of eight foot pine wood right now it's twenty six dollars it's like ridiculous the prices of wood anyways I got these ones at my local store I just love my little local store here in the countryside can't beat that but I got these there and I paid seven forty five or something for eight foot it's it's not that wide but it will do it's still four feet deep and that's what i want the other piece that i that i use inside the greenhouse they are six feet deep but sorry that's not happening this year so all this wood that i had here that i have here is i some of the wood that i have is from a project that i did last year and then this year i pick up a couple more so I can have some beds so that I can make some extra beds because the ones the wood that I had left over from last year it's not enough so I need a couple Woo! when I went to the store I must die of shock I was like oh my gosh look at these prices if I go to make like two raised beds it's just gonna cost me like what two raised beds gonna cost me like over a hundred dollars because twenty six dollars per board oh I was just like Shh. anyways so we're going to make raised beds on the other side well, we're going to get wood from our friend. So we're going to use logs instead. And we're going to be using some blocks also. Yeah, we have come up with some DIY methods to make raised beds. So anyways, too much talking, okay? <laughs> Let's get back to the video. I am going to go and remove the plastic. Oh, I have to show you guys. So this plastic on the ground, I laid them down last year. So it killed all the weeds that is underneath there. So now I can lift it up and then there's no grass and weeds and stuff underneath it. And I am ready to plant. I also have cardboard, but I don't feel like putting cardboard in the bottom because I'm going to dig up the soil in the bottom first before I put my, um, my raised bed on top of it. So yeah, let's take the plastic up and put the raised bed down.
Little me. My first raised bed is complete. Okay, ladies. My first raised bed is complete. You see, ladies, you can do it. Okay? You can do it. It's not hard. All you have to do is measure some boards and cut them and just nail them together. You know what I mean? You got it. So, I am going to continue making raised beds. Lay them down. And when I'm down, and when I am done, I'm going to show you my handiwork. Before I do that, I want to show you guys something. So, right here, I dig that up. And the reason for that is, this is rich, untouched soil my whole property has never been farmed never been touched only on that side where the fields are you seen has been farmed for years but my soil is virgin soil and i'm located in a real fertile farm land so my entire property is just fertile farm land so i dig that up because i want to take all the soil at the top off before I put my bed in so I'm gonna put leaves this whole pile of goodness here that I raked up yeah that's gonna go down first then I'm gonna put the soil on top of it then I'm gonna put my compost okay so guys I'm gonna go back and make my raised bed
So the raised bed is finished making the, the end took me like a long time because the border was just not straight. I don't know. It wasn't just nailing in properly, but it's done. I made some other raised bed inside the greenhouse, but I will show you guys in another video the ones that I made inside the greenhouse. So as always, thanks for watching. Remember you beautiful. Ciao, ciao. I will see you in the next one.